yourself a beer. Hey guys, welcome to another Beers of Sigma Bat Rep. Um, today I am playing a new person for the uh, channel. Um, his name is Mark, he's the highest ranked South Australian at the moment. <laughs> um, so yeah, excited to get him on the channel. So say hi Mark. Hey guys, how you on? So this is his first game on the channel. He lives five minutes from me, so he'll be a regular. <laughs> um, today we are playing Tooth and Nail. I'm running Fire Slayers to give him a crack against Mark's Luminous Realm Wars. So we'll come back with the armies in just a sec. All right, Mark, run us through your list. Yeah, no problem. So we're sitting at 1980 points. Uh, we're running the Metrica uh, sub-faction. We've got two units of 10 uh, Stone Guard, yep. all with mallets, a unit of five, a unit of 20 archers. Yep. We've got a Stone uh, Mage, yep. followed by the Stone King. Love the Stone King. Yeah, we've got Severeth. And then we've got a Law Seeker as well. Beautiful. Try out. Luke's going to love this, the uh, <laughs> Crack Fox. <laughs> and uh, this is a good, good, very good. All right, awesome. Um, any artifacts? Yeah, so we're just about? running the standard for Metrico. We've got Almighty Blow. Yep. Um, and then they've got, I've forgotten the last name. It's all right, it'll come up through. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's got something else. Yeah. Uh, you've obviously got the reroll hit spell somewhere. Uh, Mountain's Gift is the other one, sorry. Yep. Uh, we've got Speed of Heesh and Power of Heesh for spells. Yep. Um, we've got Voice of the Mountain. Yep. And then the Law Seekers running Lambent Light. Beautiful. There we go. Awesome. At 1980. So you won't be getting a Triumph because I'm actually well under that, surprisingly. <laughs> but yeah, this beautiful looking art. Painted beautifully. So this can be a treat to play. All right. So we'll come back with my crappy army in a second. All right, I am running the stunties for this game. Give them a crack, see if I like them for a real rampage. Um, I'm running grave here, so the hero get an extra wound and I get some more artifacts. Um, hold the line, triumph, uh, sorry, um, grand strategy. I'm eight drops, 1960 points, so I'm getting my triumph and dominable. I've got the rune, rune daddy on Magmadroth. He's my general with the blood of the berserker, so he fights twice. Um, he's got the Master Rune of Unbreakable Resolve, so he's got the three-up ward once per game in one phase, and his Cold Heart Ancient Mount trait, so minus one damage in combat. I've got a Rune Master in there somewhere with Prayer of Ash. I've got a Rune Smiter with a Runic Iron Artifact Volatile Brazier, so I think that's a double cast range on the invocations. And Ember Storm for his prayer. I've got a Battlesmith with the Nelsidian Icon, so the 12-inch aura of four plus ignore spells. And the Grimwrath Berserker with the Artifact Draft of the Magmalt Ale, so double his attacks once per game. So that's eight attacks fighting twice, that's pretty nice, but he'd probably be dead before he gets there. Uh, I've got three units of the Hearthguard Berserkers, which are in the Hunters of the Heartland, so that they can't get stomped and not fight first. And then I've also got the two Invocations, the Wall and the Inferno, so... See how that goes. Um, I've got the extra artifact for the Magnificent Command Entourage as well. So lots of artifacts running around. Um, never used them, so apologies if I'm terrible with the stunties. So be right back after deployment. Okay guys, I've um, just set up the armies. So over here we have the Sentinel sitting at the back. You've got your Stone Mage sitting on his terrain piece. The crack fox over in the back there, <laughs> and then just the big wall of stone guard and the big cow. And then over here, because there's no reserves in this mission, the uh, law seeker has to ping down here. Mm -hmm. And then for myself, uh, it's just a big, big wall of fat. Just all the hearth guard at the front, heroes behind it. Um, Mark finished deploying first, so he will dictate who goes first. So, what are you thinking? I reckon you're going to go first. Oh, a quick question before that, actually. Yep. Uh, your prayer, you just got one prayer? Is it? Uh, no, so I've got two prayers. Okay, yeah. Yep, and so then both can do the invocation. Yes. But only one of them can double range. Right, which is? This fella here. Okay. He's a nice... They can double range, so... You can't pass off wounds or anything? No bodyguard? No bodyguard, can't pass wounds off. No ward saves yet. I will let you go first. I'll be going first. Okay, so the slow boys are going first. Let's see what I can do. Be right back after some phase. <laughs> down before any elf, not least this faithless woodland sprite. He wishes nothing but ill upon my people. 
If he chooses to stand between me and my kin, I'll split his pretty head open! See if he's still smirking then! Okay guys, finished my turn one, the uh, hero phase. What I do? Failed a prayer, took a wound on him. Oh, I did my yeah, rune at the start of the turn, which I did the six up ward. And then I rolled a six, so all my heroes get a five up ward, which would be handy in his turn one. Um, might survive the shooting. Uh, and I put out the wall. So the wall's out here. And the oath I did on the Berserker is the six up ward, five up in combat. So it's a little bit of extra survivability. So that was my hero phase, pretty basic, which I like. Better than Seraphon's half an hour phase. So <laughs> we'll move on to movement. Okay guys, finished moving, um, not much happened. Just ran the hearth guard up there, take that objective. Just shuffled, got my battle tactic, just ran these three guys up, shuffled them up. So I got a bit of protection from the wall there. Um, so I claim hold one, hold two objectives. I do not hold more because of the little law seeker over here. And I get my battle tactic for four points. So we'll go into the elves turn one. Do not talk to me of dragon fire. I know it's wrath and ruin. I have faced the great serpents of the north. I warned your grandfather of what his greed would summon, but he would not listen. All right, um, end of the hero phase. Run us through what you just. Yeah, had a pretty successful phase. Got all my spells off. So we've got power of fish here. Um, we've got uh, gravitational redirection on this unit here. They took a mortal wound. Which half a movement. Yep. yep. So a two inch move. Beautiful. And then we've got a nice mystic shield on my lone agent over there. Um, and that is it. Yes. Yeah, so and the battle tactic you chose was um, to conquer. This conquer. Objective. Conquering yeah. this one. So you should be able to do that. At uh, the end of the last turn, sorry, we didn't sell you the fox moved um, yeah. in my in my movement phase. So. Yes, he's coming up me. Um, yep, and then I did best day ever over here because I'm expecting him to get shot to pieces. So yeah. we'll see what happens. All right, we'll come back after charge phase. All right. All right, so we've just finished the move and shoot phase. So um, what have you done to me? So we didn't do too much. <laughs> Severus failed most of his shots, only one went through. Yeah, which he then saved. saved with, yep. So you're shooting everything at the... Yeah, we're trying to get rid of him to get rid of their four up ward. Yep. Uh, we then shot with him and did three damage. Which I saved, saved one. saved one. Yep. Put 12 shots into him and did four mortals. And I saved, I saved one. Yeah. So he's got. He's taken six. He's got he's one left because of grey feared, which yeah. is lucky. Yeah. And then the rest of the shots we pumped into the half guard and... You managed to take one out. One one died from yeah. the bottom, so... So not the best shooting phase, um, but we'll see how we go with the charges. But, so the charges over here, um, yeah, he's, he needs yeah. to get a... I think it was a it's about six a, there. Six there with the stone yeah. guard, and, and then, then be about a seven at, or eight with the other guy. Yeah, seven. seven, yeah. Seven with Big Mountain, um, cool. seven with the three, so he needs to make these charges to yeah. probably get the objective. At least... Yeah, not yeah. have anyone die. So yeah, we'll see what happens. Uh, we'll come back after the combat phase. All right, so end of the combat phase, or end of the turn for Lumineth. Um, what happened? Had a pretty successful um, charge phase with Severeth. He charged into the hero in one wound, did a mortal, yep. and killed him. And I failed the save, so yep. he was gone, so I lost my four up ward, which yep. is perfect for him. I, I got some beautiful charges with all my units, um, so they were get, able to get in. And uh, you did fight first, you used your CP to strike first. And with the you know. minus one to hit from good old Stone King, he whiffed pretty hard. <laughs> oh, I did no damage, nothing. Yeah. Zero damage, it was horrendous. So I, I got stuff through, but Stone Guard have unrenderable so yeah. yeah it's a bit bit of a nothing yeah um, um and and then in return i just yeah attacks. actually what was massive is you only got you got two three with the cow yeah but i saved, saved one. one so it was only five damage and then i think i it's saved one of those with a six up ward yeah. so i have one wound left on the unit champion so i'll battle stock immune which is huge which is huge yeah, yeah. just to pin him there so mm -hmm. um if I, lose, if I lost priority there and he was gone, it was like straight into the whole meat. So yeah. it gives me a little bit of redundancy 
if I lose this priority. So, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, all right, so we'll go straight into priority. We'll roll that on camera. Oh. Five. Five to four. So Luminous is dictating turn. What would you like to do or would you like um, to think about it? We'll come back to it. Yeah, we'll today. come back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so Mark has kindly given me the turn. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, Purely because I've got some stuff stuck in combat, mainly being my cow. Um, and the fact that I'm already halfway up the board kind of I, pushes I, him to stay. I can't get that objective. Yeah. This one's pretty hard to get. I need, I don't know, I'm pretty slow, like... And that objective is like almost impossible to get. So it's a good move to give me the turn. Like I have to make some pretty hard decisions how to split my hearth guard up here. So yeah, um, yeah, we'll see what happens after my hero phase. Cool. All right, guys. Um, another interesting hero phase. So first thing I did was pick the Rune of Fury, which is plus one to hit. And then frustratingly for Mark, I rolled the six, and they're also plus one to attack. <laughs> so well, I've rolled sixes both times so far, so fire slows runes are wicked. <laughs> um, uh, cast the Inferno, and I pinged a few mortal wounds off on these. I think you one here, one there, and one there. Yep. Yeah, it's so it wasn't, it wasn't too bad. Um, I wish if I rolled the double move, it would have been a lot more damage, but mm -hmm. still pretty nice. I got um, Prayer of Ash off here, so they're minus one to wound against that unit, which could come in handy. And I think that's it. Well, yeah, Fire Slayer is pretty basic hero phases, which I'm kind of liking. Um, so we'll come back after I move my slow moving units. All right, guys, so we've done the movement phase. I move these guys up. You've redeployed back. Two inches. Two yeah. inches, yeah, nothing. Um, moved up the middle here. I've unleashed all my throwing axes and the breath attack. Mm -hmm. I killed one stone guard. And one, and one stone guard, so um, yeah, not nothing. better than nothing, yeah. a bit of extra damage. And then, cleverly, Mark has moved the fox onto my objective, so <laughs> um, smart play. He was going to ping that wound and go back, but he thought, no, no, there's a free objective here, so mm -hmm. crap fox wins again. <laughs> um, so we're going to charge phase. Okay, so the end of the fire slayer's turn, what happened? Well, um, I fought over here first with a half guard. Um, and did a fair bit of damage to the stone guard. I think they did eight to them and they wiped the unit of stone guard. Yep. Um, and then the other guy here did two damage, so he's taken 10. Yep. You wiped out five half guard. You, you did 22 damage, I saved 12. So that's pretty good with yep. um, the four and more. Yep. yep. And then over here, you fought first and killed three half guard, and then I've, yeah, there's three left, so I killed a few. Yeah. Um, so they pass battle shock. You auto pass battle shock. I CP'd there. So I hold one objective for one point because I've taken that one off him, mm -hmm. and I got my battle tactic. So I get three. So puts you to seven. One seven. So I'm only up by two, but we're going into Mark's turn, so he's going to get a, a bit of a lead here. So yeah. let's hope that I can hold on. Um, and yeah, we'll see what happens. Cool. Okay. 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 Hero phase. Lumineth turn two. Run us through what you have done. Yeah. Pretty another another good. Hero phase for me. Um, put finest hour on my uh, Stone King. Probably he's probably going to die this turn. Um, Trying to get as much damage there. All my spells went off. I've cast uh, Power of Hish, uh, Lambent Light on the unit of Half Guard here. Yep. So they and numbers. sorry, he did fail his. Yes, you went rabbit. for the half move, yeah. and my Nelsidian Icon stopped it. Yeah. So you passed yep. it. I dispel. Oh, stopped it. Yeah. Or a four plus, which is beautiful. Um, I went for the CP and failed it. The battle tactic you're going for is it is aggressive expansion, which I already hold. He already holds it, so it's a free two CP. So yeah, perfect. Makes sense. Um, yeah. So it can be interesting here if he whiffs his attacks or I save well, I might punk him down. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, I'm in trouble. Yeah. All right. So we'll go to next phases, and we'll come back. Cool. Cool. Okay, so the end of turn two, um, I rolled, actually I rolled pretty good my saves here, I didn't lose any, <laughs> and they passed Battle Shock. Um, you haven't quite killed them yet, yeah. and but unfortunately the half guard got minced here, so I was yeah. hoping they would survive to fight back, and then if I won the priority I could rally and come back, but it's yeah. all down to the Magma Dross now, and a priority roll, so mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mark has gained four points for holding one and holding two, yeah, and his battle tactics. So, yes. um, big priority here. I think it's game over priority here. Yeah, 
six to nice. three. I get it, so I'll take it yep. and maybe just drag this game out to a turn, <laughs> start of end of turn three. So we'll come back after my very short hero phase. Okay, short, sharp hero phase, guys, for turn three, fire slayers. I've picked, bring it down. I'm going to try and double activate and bring him down. I think he's got six wounds left, so let's mm -hmm. see what happens there. Um, what prayers did I, uh, what did I do? I did a heroic action to heal. Yep. You did so one to heal. You, we both passed, got a couple of wounds back. Yeah. Um, this activated, killed one of them, killed four archers, which is fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, what else did I do? I got the... I failed his prayer for plus on a wound, but I passed his, the other guy, the room master, so that this terrain piece exploded and I did one more to wound, I think, to the stone guard. So mm -hmm. uh, we're going to movement phase, which is going to be short, sharp, and see what happens. All right. Um, end of the... Oh, you'll get to move the fox in a second, but yeah. the end of the uh, combat phase, oh, I fluffed hard. I've, he's got one wound left, the cow, from two activations. He did two wounds back. Um, he's pretty hard to kill, the old... Magma Droth when you're bracketed. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, the second activation, I did, I just, because I've got the Rune of Searing Heat off, I'd need one six to wound and it would have killed him. Yeah. Um, couldn't get it. But also, I didn't say, when I rolled for the Rune of Searing Heat, I rolled another six. So every turn I rolled a six. So these master runes are <laughs> wicked. So anyway, that's the end of my turn. I get one point and you'll move the fox in a second. Yep. So yeah, not looking good for Fire Slayers. Okay, Mark, run us through what happened in your turn. Pretty, pretty, yeah, there's not much uh, else to do. Just charged in what I needed to. Ended up getting my battle tactic by killing the two half guard that were here. Yes. Um, I did whiff on my stone boy, and he ended up killing himself from the mortal splashback. Yes, the nice. Yeah, so that got you a nice juicy point. Um, but that's, that's really it. Yeah, um, so you get five points a turn because yeah. you hold three objectives. Mm -hmm. Sorry about the speed of that. And then uh, your battle tactic. So you're up 14 to nine, I believe, yes. after yeah. three turns. I've got one dude left. Yep. Um, yeah, it's not looking good for me. It's actually it's a definitely a loss for me. But let's see what the Magnum Roth can do, cool. especially if we win priority. So let's roll priority. Yep. Um, five, five all. So, so I, get, I hold it, which yep. I need to. And I'll probably roll another six for my <laughs> last turn. So, all right, let's go into Fire Slayer's turn four. Yeah. All right, end of my turn four. Um, this guy pinged off a few mortals, and I got my battle tactic. I might turn five, just go Hail Mary and charge into something, but <laughs> he's too far away from anything, so here he is. So that's the end of my turn four. I get three points from battle tactic and a claimed... One objective. Mm -hmm. I don't think I get additional for conquer with a monster. And no. No, no. so that's it for my turn. So we'll come back after Lumineth turn four. Okay, guys, end of the shooting and charge phase. Um, first time on the channel, Lucky, he's made every big charge. So, <laughs> um, yeah, the big boy's got everyone in him. Yeah. So, and I've already popped my three plus ward. So, um, he's not long for this world, my old general. So, let's see what he can do, and we'll be back. Probably with conclusion. All right, guys, uh, we finished Lumineth turn four. As you can see, he's gone. So you got them all in. You didn't kill him. I managed to kill the Law Seeker with my attacks. Yeah. And then Severith just did enough to kill him. So that was disappointing. So you got your battle tactic and you hold all objectives. Mm -hmm. So that's um, six points total. Six points total because you yep. killed a monster. Yep. So you go to 20, I'm on four, 12. Uh, we roll off for priority because let's see what happens. One. One to five. So I'll go, I'll probably try and get a big Hail Mary thing with the this thing just for shits and giggles, see what it kills, mm -hmm. and then we'll come to um, end of game yep. and uh, talk about it. All right, guys. Um, I've taken five. I can't win the game. I thought, let's see if I can do some damage. So... I thought I'd roll this thing. Now, before I go any further, if anyone knows if a priest dies and summoned an invocation, if it goes, let us know. But we're playing as if you can keep using it. Yeah. Well, I rolled the 10. Now, what does the 10 mean with this thing? Well, it means every six to hit is D3 mortal wound. So it's going to be 12 <laughs> attacks on this guy, 12 on this unit, and 12 on Severus. So I might get that on camera. I'll be right back with the rolls. Right. All right, guys, let's see what it does. So he's, uh, Mark just moved this unit away so we can identify the three units. So we'll start with this unit here. 
And it's a big fat nothing. So <laughs> here we go. It's really angry. Saving it for the big fox at the end. Yeah. Um, the big unit. Uh, we got a cocked on there, so we'll re-roll that. So 2d3 mortal wounds. Ooh, tasty. For three mortal wounds. Very so we've nice. killed we've killed one essentially. Yep. But this is the one we're waiting for. Can we kill this crack fox? He's taken two wounds, I think. So yep. Ooh, four D three. Here we go. We've done a tasty ten mortal wounds. Four, He's... six, eight. Ten, five ups to ignore. Oh, he's alive on one wound. Alive on one wound. He's rolled seven, so, and this thing disappears. Yeah. The fire slayer's had a crack. Um, Luminous is about to have a turn and gain six more VP, so. Um, and I didn't get my grand strategy, and you did, so. Good game, buddy. Well played. Okay. Um, that was my first fire slayer's game. We'll come back with the after action report and talk some shit about the game. All right, guys, um, after action report. So the game finished 29 to 12, which is a bit of a smacking in the end. But it's my first time with the Slayers. So let's go through Mark's thoughts on the game first. What do you think of the game? Yeah, I thought it went really well. Um, there were a couple of things that uh, I could have personally done different to maximise uh, my damage potential on the, potential on the cow. Um, but pretty happy with his results in the end here. Smacked a unit of half guard pretty hard, and you failed those four up. Oh, I failed the four yeah, up. Yeah, the yeah. first unit I lost the Grim Wrath, so they had a six up, so he yeah. smacked through them, and then I failed the four up one. So, yeah, I definitely feel like I could have centered him more for the minus one to hit to your army. That's probably, the yeah, if he was in the middle, it's different. So, yeah, yeah. Um, but other than that, I think I the army did what it was supposed to. Severeth sniped the heroes, objective yeah. and the heroes, yeah. Um, that movement is that needs to be nerfed. That's yeah, it needs a tweak. It needs a tweak. Yeah. yeah. Um, Sentinels did what Sentinels do, and uh, yeah, yeah, this mission not being able to have a reserve unit when I have I, I do have a tunneling ability, so yeah. there is that potential for me to have deep striked a fire yeah. slayer unit to maybe get to them. So yeah, um, yeah. No, I think you played that game pretty well for yeah. what you're up against. And mm. I'll just say that that was probably the perfect counter to the list I was running. Um, but yeah, you, it's a good list. Like yeah. um, Ignoring Ren 1 and 2 against an army that only has Ren 1, really, um, yeah. it's pretty pretty like, harsh. And like, then he's, he's on a two-up save. He's on a two-up save. Yeah. So I have had the, the room where I could have got the extra Rend or maybe two Rend if I rolled the six, yeah. which... I mean, I rolled three six in a row for it, so <laughs> maybe it's pretty easy to get. Yeah. But look, um, yeah, so my army needed to pump out damage and you absorbed it with your ignore rend too, so it was irrelevant. Yeah. And then you had the ability to snipe my heroes with a ward, so I couldn't get my battle sh uh, my rally on a four plus, which was a frustrate. So all the little things that could have kept me in the game. Yeah. Your list, was, your list was very capable of taking them out, removing yeah. that sort of from happening. So, yeah. um, no, it was a really good list. I think when the new GHB comes out, we might start seeing the game More. pivot to these sort of lists, like yeah. hordes, um, tanky units that can absorb, you know, a big unit, throwing lots of dice. So, mm -hmm. um, as for my list, this is the first time I played it. I quite liked it despite getting hammered. Mm -hmm. I'm so used to Seraphon. And the last game with Arkham just having a different aggressive style. I need to tweak to a defensive style, I think. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, yeah, as you were saying before, like being able to more huddle towards your centre there, um, having him out the front to get in combat yes. quicker. I think him being out of combat for two turns really missed his damage potential. In three of the five turns he did nothing. Yeah, um, yeah. And... Kind of did the same with Arcane. So I've got to play a bit like Arcane. He needs to be out. Yeah. If he dies, he dies, but he needs to be taking his yeah. taking some threats out. Exactly. Um I need to keep the heroes together. As soon as like you kill that Grimwrath early, that unit was gone. So yeah. like, that's an expensive unit and a tanky unit that once then got the four up ward is yeah, it's a bit rough. So yeah. um I love this this thing. <laughs> that was awesome. Like it yeah. it just chips out mortar wounds everywhere. And the thing is, the opponent forgets about it as well. I yeah. think it's a secret secret thing to take. Um, you kind of... You, you, I kind of just sat there and just took it, blunt force. I could have moved around him, but at the end of the day, it's 2d6 movement. 
You're getting where you need to go. You need where you go, and if you roll that double and you get the D3 models, it could. Brutal. Like, if you got that, if I got that early with the double models when you yeah. was in the middle there, I yeah. could have really put a hole in. Mm -hmm. And again, that might slightly change the impact of the game, because those Sentinels just take out your support pieces, yeah. as does the Crack Fox. So, look, I hope you guys enjoyed the game. Um, I did. I might be taking the Slayers to Real Rampage. I haven't decided. I might still put in my Seraphon again, but we'll see. Um... Because I've got a little bit left to paint. So sorry about that, guys. It's an unpainted army. Um, yeah, so if you enjoyed the game, smash the like, like smash those beers, and we'll have Mark on the channel again soon. So cheers, guys.